Hey everyone, in this tutorial series we will be learning how to make a hyper casual game inside of Unity. This is the second part of the tutorial series in which we will learn how to make the player health. In the end of the video we will be able to make this. Without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the first part of the tutorial series we made the player movement system which looked something like this. Uh, so if you have missed that video make sure you see that uh, you can click the card on the top right over here and see that video first. But this is what we made in the first video, we made the player movement system and the player moves forward as well as left and right with the animation uh, and that is pretty much it that is what we made uh, so in this video we will learn how to make the health system so basically we want to make the health kind of like this so that we have three hearts which will represent the health uh, if we hit any obstacle like if we hit the box over here or something else or the enemies which we are gonna make in the uh, in the future videos like these enemies over here when we hit them one heart will be reduced and when there when there's no heart then of course we have no health and we will restart the level and all that so this is what we're gonna make in this video so yeah let's get started i'm gonna go to unity and let's go ahead and first make the health logic and all that and then we will do the heart system so to represent the health but first we're gonna make the health system concept whatever you want to call it so i'm going to go ahead and select the player and i'm going to go ahead and make a new fsm uh, the previous one which we made in the first video i'm going to rename it to movement and i'm going to go ahead and say add component fsm and add a new fsm so if you don't know what playmaker fsm is then playmaker is a really cool asset if you haven't heard about playmaker then believe me it will change your life uh, so if you want to get playmaker you can go ahead and buy it from asset store or you can also download it for free the link will be in the description box below i personally will provide it to you guys so just go ahead and drag it inside infinity import install and you will be good to go and if you have any problems regarding playmaker let me know in the comments i will try to help you out anyways let's go back to the player and this is the fsm that we made in the last video which looks something like this so we have these three actions that basically make this guy move walk run whatever uh, so again if you have missed that video make sure you see that and I'm gonna come back to the health one and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set the health of the player when the game starts so when the game starts we're gonna come in the stage one so we're gonna go ahead and say set float value float basically is a variable uh, with a point value so we're gonna go ahead and make a new variable and this time I'm gonna go ahead and make a new global variable global variable are those variables that can be accessed through the other FSMs global variable and I'm gonna call it health and when the game starts we want the health of the player to be three all right uh, of course there are three hearts so i'm going to set this to three if you don't want to increase the health you can do that you can set this to any anything you want so i'm going to set this to three and then i'm going to say next frame event next frame event basically means after executing this action what you want to do so i'm going to say uh, finished so control click finished finished and say new state bam so when the game starts we're gonna set the health of the player to three and then we're gonna come in the state two in this state we're gonna go ahead and say float compare which basically means we're gonna compare the health with zero so the float we want to compare is the global variable health and we want to compare it with the second float which is zero so if it is equal to zero then it means killed the player is killed or died whatever if it is less than zero of course it means it is killed if it is greater than zero then do nothing because yeah we don't want to do anything if it is greater than zero which means the health is still there uh, but if it equals to zero or less than zero then we're gonna go ahead and make a new state over here and say uh, right click create a transition killed and bam just come over here make sure it is set to every frame which means every second is gonna check and compare the health uh, with zero every second which we do want to do and when it is zero we're gonna come in this state and in this state we can simply go ahead and play some death animation and stop the movement and yeah we can just simply do that just simply drag the movement in here just like that say set property enabled where is it enabled and false there we go so this is enabled this is disabled and which if, if this is disabled it means he will no longer be able to move and yeah okay so this is the health system which we just made now we need to reduce the health because we can we are not reducing the health we're just checking whether or not the health is zero or not so now in order to reduce the health we need to add some obstacle i have an obstacle over here which is basically just a box a cube with a box collider nothing much you can just simply right click create a cube now here we have an obstacle so i'm going to go ahead and select the obstacle and add in a tag i'm going to say add tag you can say plus sign over here and 
add tag anything I called it enemy so just plus sign enemy save then come back to the cube and I'm gonna go ahead and set the tag to enemy just like that alright so now this cube has an enemy tag over here so whenever we hit it we wanna decrease the health so if I go back to the player now as you can see we have a capsule collider on the on the player now if that capsule collider hits this object we're gonna check whether or not the object that the capsule collider hits is it enemy if it is enemy then we're gonna reduce the health simple as that right so we're gonna go ahead and add in a new FSM this one will be the hit detector hit detect and say edit and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say collision event which means whenever it collides with something we are check whether or not uh, it collides with the tag of the enemy all right so on collision enter which means whenever it collides we're gonna test whether or not it collides with the enemy if it does collide with the enemy we're gonna go ahead and say hit hit just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and say right click create transition hit add a new state and bam so whenever we hit we're gonna come in the state 2 and in the state 2 we're gonna say float add which basically is we're gonna reduce the health so global health uh, now as you can see we can access the health through the other FSM so that is pretty awesome so edit and I'm gonna set this to minus 1 which basically means we're gonna reduce 1 from health and then next frame event oops next frame event finished and simply come back all right so when we, and whenever we hit we're gonna come in here reduce the health by one and come over here reduce the health come over here simple as that all right no big deal so let's go ahead and play the game i'm gonna go ahead and open up I'll open up the fsm and i'm gonna shrink it so that we can see if it switch between state one and state two if we hit the box so if it does hit so bam as you can see when we hit it comes to state two just like that all right so just saw over here so that is pretty awesome of course we have reduced the health so let's see if, if if the whole thing is properly working or not so i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and duplicate this and duplicate this so if we hit this one this one and then this one uh when we hit the third one we should stop moving because if i go back to the player in the health if the health okay okay we have a error which is we uh, okay delete the transition and set this to killed there we go my bad my bad okay so uh, as you can see if the health is zero we're gonna come over here and set this movement to disabled so when the movement is disabled we are no longer be able to move the player left and right or move forward so if the health is zero we are no longer able to move so that is what we want so let's see if we hit the third object are we able to move or not so if we are not able to move then it means uh it is working one two three as you can see now we are no longer able to move which is the health is zero now pretty awesome uh but of course it does not look beautiful <laughs> uh, why well because we have no response no animation no death animation nothing so we want to make that we want to make it better but before we make the death animation and you know all that we want to make the hearts on the top over here so that we can see the health so how do we do that well i'm gonna go back to the google chrome and i'm gonna search for heart png heart png and we can use any one you want so i'm searching for white heart which is because we can now uh, if we drag it in, uh, inside of unity we will be able to change the uh, change the color of the heart so there we go i just downloaded the heart and i'm going to simply drag it inside of unity uh there we go okay so here it is and i don't know why this is over here but i'm gonna set this to sprite 2d and ui and hit apply and as you can see now it has no background that is pretty awesome and i'm gonna go ahead and decrease the size a little bit to 512 because we don't want that much big size so here we have the heart with no background amazing now i'm gonna go ahead and say right click create a ui and a image and press f to see the image and there it is now as you can see the canvas is this big and the image is not in the center so we want it in the center so i'm gonna say right click create oops right click create reset the transform so now it is right in the center also i want to select the canvas and i'm gonna set this to scale with screen size all right and i'm going to set this to 1920 by 1080 
there we go and yeah there it is there there's the the image uh, now we don't want it to be in the center we want it to be on the upper center so i'm going to select the image select here hold shift and alt hold shift and alt and click that one and now you can see it is right on the top center over here just like that amazing so i'm going to go ahead and bring this back just bring it down just a little bit and drag in the heart just like that so now we have a heart over there still as you can see the the edges are really crisp which we don't want right now so we can just decrease the quality a little bit just like that and now as you can see it does not have any crisp edges which is what we want i'm gonna go ahead and decrease the image size a little bit so yeah that looks good i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this bring it out just like that uh, okay and duplicate this and bring it out just like that so you can see we have three hearts now as i told you we can change the color so if i set this to red as you can see now the color of the heart is red and if you want it to black we can set this to black gray whatever we want if it is white if it is not white then we cannot change it so i'm gonna so go ahead and set this to somewhat like this so these are the hearts that we want uh, let's see now as you can see if we have uh, one heart missing it is not just disabled it has the black kind of heart over there which means we had a heart and now we don't have it so we want to make that effect also in order to make that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and duplicate the whole canvas duplicate it and i'm going to decrease uh, i'm going to disable it for now select these guys and select all of these hearts set them to black and decrease the opacity a little bit so these are the hearts that will show up when we have no heart all right uh, there we go yeah there we go okay so now if i go ahead and enable this guy then also make sure the canvas that has the red hearts make sure this sort order is one on that one and make sure the canvas that is has the black uh hearts have the sort order zero so which means this is gonna show first and this is gonna show up last all right so which means this is not gonna interfere with these hearts right now even if i disable and enable it as you can see it's not affecting these hearts so that is pretty cool now if i go ahead and select one of the hearts and if i go ahead and disable this for now as you can see it shows the black kind of heart which is awesome so that is all what we wanted now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and disable these hearts in order so this one uh, this one should be the first one there we go so first second third so we're going to go ahead and disable these in order if we uh, lose any health so how do we do that is we go ahead and say player and uh, hit detect in here so we will have to change this logic over here a uh, little bit so whenever we hit we come over here f first hit we come over here and we say drag uh no we come over here and say activate game object activate game object and we want to activate the specify the game object to the first heart which is this one and we're going to disable that just like that all right make sure it is on the top on the next event because if we want to execute this and then we're going to go and then if we go we don't want to come back to this over here all right so we're going to go ahead and make a new state over here we come over here we copy the component from here we paste it over here and make a new hit transition and copy this one paste it over here just like that all right and in this one we don't want to de deactivate this one we want to deactivate the second one and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again so copy these two paste these two over here and say finished come over here and just simply change the heart to the third one which is this one just like that and say delete transition no next frame event so in that case it is going to deactivate the first heart second heart and third heart all right and it's also going to decrease the health so this is the basic logic that i came up with i don't know if it is the perfect logic of course it's not the perfect logic but it is going to work anyways now if we go ahead and play the game it should uh it should do that first heart second heart third heart and stops moving bam everything is properly working so uh yeah that is pretty awesome so for the animations i went to mixma.com and i searched for stumble and this is the one that i'm using uh jogging stumble which looks something like this all right now make sure it is set to in place so that it does the animation in the single place 
that is what we want that is what we did in the last video when it's done say download download for unity and download and there it is downloaded i am downloading it three times because i recorded this three times <laughs> anyways just drag it inside of unity there we go all right now this is the jogging stumble which is looking something like this and i'm gonna go ahead and select the player animator controller drag it inside of unity uh, uh drag it inside of the animator controller just like that so jogging stumble now we're gonna go ahead and make transition from run to jog and jog uh stumble to running and of course that condition and that wants a condition to you know transition so you're gonna say right click uh select this plus sign over here and say trigger rename it to hit and whenever that trigger is triggered we're gonna go to simply go ahead and say hit we're gonna come over here make the do the animation and then simply come back uh, make sure the first one this in which we transition from run to stumble make sure that has no exit exit time is false and the second one has true which basically means it's not gonna complete the animation and come over here and this one is gonna complete the animation and come over there simple as that right so if you play the game right now and if I do the uh, manually do that so as you can see he does that animation amazing cool cool I, li I like it I like it okay so now we wanna go ahead and control this this trigger from code so we're gonna go to the player in the hit hit detect we're gonna come over here and we decrease the health so we also wanna go ahead and say set float uh, set bool set animator bool basically this trigger is basically bool so we're gonna say hit which is this one over here and we're gonna set this to true just like that right bring it on the top just like that and then copy this guy control C control V and select the last one control V just like that so now whenever we hit we are gonna do that animation so that should be pretty amazing so he does that animation does that animation does that animation and he dies and we are no longer able to move pretty awesome now we need some kind of a death animation which I'm gonna use this one tripping which looks something like this so I again download it from mixma.com and there we go I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down where he starts to fall just from here and BAM alright so we're gonna use this animation which is pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and say apply drag in the tripping animation just like that and make transition from running to here and jogging to here just like that make another trigger killed whenever killed is true whenever killed is true we're gonna come over here make sure has exit time is false has exit time is false just like that and i'm gonna come back to the player and in the hit detect in the last one which is this one we die basically so instead of setting the animator bool hit we're gonna set this to killed uh, killed simple as that so in the last one he's gonna do the uh, dying animation so play the game and see if everything is properly working or not one two three. Oh shit he dies just like that so he stops moving we can no longer control it and he dies and yeah pretty amazing we have no hearts over here so yeah this is the player health that we made right now right here just simple as that so yeah this is pretty much it hope you guys in this video in the next video we're gonna go ahead and add in some obstacles this is not an obstacle uh, well this is but we're gonna go ahead and add in a moving obstacle and something like jump pads so we can jump over things and many more we're also gonna go ahead and add in some enemies we are gonna go and add in some uh some coins to collect and then level restarting and a whole, whole lot of things right so we just made some uh health over here we're also gonna go ahead and add in a level restarting next level uh, level selection and whatnot so if you don't want to miss those uh, future videos make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload any tutorial video uh, that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you in the next video peace out